Bees had been living in this backyard shed for at least two years. The landlord wanted to call an exterminator, but the family who lived here wanted to save the bees, so they called me. As a beekeeper, I'm, I'm kind of a professional social distancer. I show up to work and nobody wants to be around me, you know? I show up to remove bees and everybody gets out of the way. You know, bees are around us all the time. They're in our garden, they pollinate so much of our food. We rely on them so much, but people don't really know that much about them. My entire life, I've just loved bugs. I've always been fascinated with insects. And growing up, I spent a lot of time in my backyard you know, collecting bugs and putting them in jars and trying to keep them as pets, but also trying to study and observe them. And it led me to take a beekeeping class about 10 years ago. And I started as a hobbyist with one hive in my backyard. And now I have over 100 hives and I'm a full-time professional beekeeper. First thing I do whenever I get to a bee removal situation is I assess the temperament of the colony. So I try to gather clues on, you know, the colony's behavior, the size of the colony, or things that might help me do the removal in the safest way possible. From there, it's really up to the bees, you know. I just try to listen to the bees and I follow their lead and I'm working alongside them to get them out of one location and into another. give them all the resources they need to, to get a new start and be really successful. And, you know, their bees, they can come and go as they please. They can choose to leave or build a new hive somewhere else if they want. And, you know, as a beekeeper, I'm really just a steward for the bees and I'm not keeping them locked up in these hives. The, the main things that are affecting bees are the same things that are affecting all creatures on the planet. You know, bees are feeling the effects from things like habitat loss, climate change, and the use of pesticides and diseases and viruses that can just decimate bee populations. So there are easy things that everybody can do if they want to help bees. One of the most important things you can do is plant pollinator friendly plants. Also, don't don't use pesticides, of course. You know, pesticides can, can have devastating effects on the population. I really feel like I'm just, you know, living all of my 10-year-old self's dreams. I went from scooping doodle bugs and ladybugs in my backyard to scooping up bees for a living, and I just feel so lucky.